Hey what's happening guys, welcome to your 3.5th React tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you the React DevTools. Okay so before I go any further and show you those tools I just want you to check out one thing. In the last tutorial we created this component and it had one element in it but what if we want more? Say for example I wanted after the h1 a paragraph tag to say hello something like that okay. Now, okay, let's save this and see if it works. Come to the browser and it's not working. And if we look in the console, you can see we get these errors right here. So what's happening here is we've got two top level tags within the return statement. Now React doesn't like that. It wants you to put everything in the return statement in one parent tag. So we can still do this, but the way we get around it is by doing a div tag at the top, get the closing tag and put it at the end if you can. Okay, this isn't going well. Right, so put it at the end like that and shift these in. And now, because everything is contained within one parent tag, this will now work. So if I save it, and check it out now in the browser, this should work if I refresh. Okay, ninjas, hello. So we can add multiple elements, but we have to put everything within one single parent tag. Okay, so anyway, now I want to show you the React Dev Tools. So I'm just going to zoom into the console right here and you can see on my toolbar I have the React tab. And if I click on that, let me zoom out one because we can't see anything at all. Okay, you can see this to do components. So it's showing the components on my application, which is really cool. And not only does it show you the component, but if you click on it, it's going to show you the props and the state of that component, etc. And you can expand it to see what's inside. So that is really cool. Now I'll talk about props and state and everything later, but I wanna show you how to download this React dev tool so you can use it when you're developing. So what you wanna do is go to the Chrome Web Store and search for React Developer Tools. It's right here. I've already installed it, but if you click on that, you should see um, an Add to Chrome button. So just click that and then that is gonna install it for you. So all you ever need to do then is just right click and go to Inspect or open up your console however you want to do it and then go to react and it's going to show you the different components on the application if it's a react website. So some other websites which use react is the BBC homepage. So I've gone to open my dev tools again and go to react and you can see there's quite a lot of different components here. This thing, this thing, this thing and when I click on one you can see now the props here there are all the different properties inside this component. And I know you don't know what these are at the minute. I'm just showing you, we have all these different information snippets about this component. So you can see how they've done it and you can expand them. Okay. Which is really cool. So the BBC, we use it. Um, also Airbnb use it. So again, in the React app, I can see the different components that they've created, expand them, see the information about them, etc. So I think this is a really cool tool that you can download that's really going to help you when it comes to developing React applications and also looking at how other people have developed them too.